Welcome back. This is part two in Ajax. In this part, we're going to see three th things. The compatibility issue, ActiveX object of Microsoft is the XML HTTP request of modern browsers. So in the old browsers, IE6 and prior to IE6, we don't use, we cannot, this, this XML HTTP request is not supported, so we use instead ActiveX XML object. So we're going to write that code for compatibility. And we're going to see, the, then we're going to see the difference between synchronous and asynchronous. And the last part will be, we're going to use a demo, live demo, on uh, using two text files, bringing two text files from a server, okay, using uh, Ajax, of course. So let's get into it here. We're going to define our utility function that creates XML HTTP request object, very long name, but very expressive here. So this is, of course, this is user defined. I'm defining it. So here we're going to check whether the uh, our XML HTTP request is recognized. All right. If it's defined, if it's defined, we gonna return an instance of it. So return new XML HTTP request using the constructor. As it's not recognized, so what do we do? We're gonna return the old uh, an instance of the old ActiveX object of Microsoft. So Microsoft dot XML HTTP. Or is it encapsulated all of them? Probably. All right, so we're going to copy this, and that's the compatibility issue. Very simple one. So instead of having here new, we're going to call call this function and comment this one. Now the second part is what's the difference between true, which is asynchronous, and false, which is synchronous. This is non-blocking. This is blocking. Non-blocking means once your JavaScript send the request, create the request and send it. It won't wait until it receives it to continue with whatever it was doing. It's gonna send, don't care about how long it will take for the browser, the sorry, the server to to uh, send back the answer. It's gonna continue with whatever it was doing. Now on the other hand, the synchronous means it's gonna send the date, send the request, all right, uh, create the request and send it. And it will wait, it will stop doing anything else, wait until it receives, or the ready state is 4. Alright, I should put here 4. And the, uh, it will, only then it will uh, carry on or resume whatever it was doing. So, we are using true means asynchronous. This is the default one. To simulate that, we're going to use, we're going to ask the JavaScript to perform something else. And we're going to use that, we're going to do a log, okay, a console.log. So uh, we're going to create interval uh, we set interval, sorry, no, create interval, set time out, set time out, set interval, sorry, set interval. So set interval. And this set interval is gonna call a function, okay? Callback function, use a callback function to call it every this amount of time, one millisecond or uh, five seconds, so it's in milliseconds. We're gonna use it every millisecond. And the callback function, we're gonna use an anonymous function, so function bigger than n. What does, does, what does this do? Just a console log dot log. We could really update a DOM, but I don't have time to do that one. So just log on the console log, uh, on the console, sorry, object. So console.log, console and let's say updating or doing whatever. Updating 
index so I'm going to create an index variable and each time I'm going to increment it just to see it's being modified so I'm going to put it here now this set interval is going to create a clock a recurring clock so I'm going to use an identifier so CLC ID here because I need to stop it later on to stop it I need is this identifier so I'm going to put it, where am I going to stop it? I'm going to stop it once I got all the answers and the server has given me the, the data I wanted. So we do the clear, the opposite of set interval is clear interval. And this time we need the parameter. Which interval we're going to clear? Obviously this one. That's why I had to use the variable. All right, and we're gonna see whether this, by the way, index here, I need to declare it here and set it to one or zero, whichever you like. Then see whether this will be run many times while waiting for this or what, sorry, while expecting the results uh, from the server. All right, so we are using true guys asynchronous. So let's go and check this one. So I already have my old here uh, toggle points. Are they properly done? Uh, I think so. Okay, so uh, I click here to ins initiate the AJAX process. Now index is one. Ready state here. I'm gonna put no toggle point here to every time go to the ready state here. Or to go to the so to the cycle one two three four. So what's the release state is zero. Now create the uh, request and send it. Now it's uh, number one. Remember, it's created the connection here. Number two is received the request by the server. Number three is in progress, and number four is finished. With whatever results. So one, the index is one here. Another cycle, two, the index is 13. Can you see it's, it's going here? If I go here, I see that it's working. It doesn't really waste its time. It's non blocking. Now, three, 13, and four, still 13. But at least it's working. I finished 12 or 13 times. Uh, because it went here. Let, let me do it another time. So when it's one, I see the index is one. When it's two, it's received by the server. This doesn't care, it's running 12 here. When it's in progress, this is still 12 and when it's done finished this is 4 mine is 12 I can go inside here so put the data inside response here and clear the interval 12 here and clear the the clock oh, I have to okay, I have to do it again I didn't refresh now click uh, so establish you see it's zero nothing is established establish the connection with the parameters so it's one uh, send is received now the index is here is five now progress is five it depends sorry it depends on the execution because it's very quick guys this is very quick I am posing it of course okay I'm debugging that's why and this is five and this is four and that's it took me four milliseconds now what if I do here false it's against the principle principle of the Ajax well, I don't know why we have to use synchronous because it's gonna block everything and wait until the data uh, come from the server in order to resume whatever the, your JavaScript was doing. So, and 
it's not it's not supported now no it's deprecated did I save guys no I did not so I'm gonna control s and refresh I'm gonna go to source here and it's a force good now initiate here now ready state is zero nothing established ready state is one remember one one means server connection established however here can you see the error or the warning here it tells me that it's it tells me that the synchronous XML HTTP request on the main thread is deprecated because of its detrimental effects to the user's you and user's experience this is in a nutshell is just saying that this is waste of time why blocking the javascript why waiting for the server maybe the server is so damn slow so the user will be really frustrated that's why it's deprecated all right good uh the index will be always one you see it's not it will it, will, it won't do anything about this you see guys even though it's working no clear interval but now my index hasn't batch a bit all right now let's go and see another example in, in the other example we are using here demo uh, 2 not xml here i was bringing xml guys remember oh no i use response but right. but it's an xml file because my file is an xml now in the demo number two I have my file one which is pure text my file two which is another pure text normal normal text not x so I have line one line two and this one I have three and four and it's the same it's the same I think so yes it's the same and I'm gonna write the JavaScript now so I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this two here or the initial stuff here Tell you what, you're gonna copy everything. Oh, what did I do? Okay, I'm gonna in here I copied everything from the old one and so we're gonna call Ajax text area update, all right? But here we're gonna remove everything. Okay. So main, which is here now, text area. Just get hold of the ID. Why is it beginning here? Right then, add event listener, Ajax update, and this is Ajax sorry Ajax text area update, and you're gonna write our code here. We need this one for our normal uh, creation of XML HTTP request. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna use two files here. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna we're gonna switch between these two files. All right, every time we click. So at the beginning, we're going to use like a switch, so var or a flag, var file is 1, and every time we're going to change it to 2 or 1, back and forth. Now we're going to create our XML object, XML object, or HTTP object, so we're going to call this, create this object. Once we create our XML object, we can use XML dot open and here we're gonna use the get or the post we're gonna use post in the next or part number three lecture and the file here is the URL either this or this we don't know so we're gonna use a file a variable then we're gonna use true for the asynchronous now var file 
or find name, let's give it a proper name. So find name and use it here. And there we test while find name is file or my file is called sorry my file one dot txt. Now if file equals to one or equals to two, let's say we're gonna use So if file is 2, we're going to go with 1. And if else, we're going to go with 2. That's the switching, okay? And, oh, sorry. By the way, here, the file will be 1. So if it's 2, I'm going to change it to 1 for the next one. And here... Now I use two. So at the beginning file is one and we check is it one? No, we go here. So the file is my file two and the switch will be switched to two. All right, and that's it. Now after we create the find uh, we create the uh, connection if you like or the channel or the request uh, that's that's the right way we, I prefer to call it request after we create this we set the parameters for the request with the get method the URL and the default asynchronous uh, way of uh, getting the data or transferring the request and getting the data we're gonna send that request Okay, so send. Then um, we're gonna use the same object to use on ready state. Here, guys, I'm gonna use another one. Okay, do you remember this uh, property on ready state change? Earlier we used add event listener, but I'm gonna use on ready state change for completeness because you will find so many code uh, out there using this on ready state change and it's what it's a function here we'll associate a function anonymous function and we're gonna write our code here so what do we do we test whether this or you can use xml object if you like this dot ready state is equal equal to four there is two parts. Not only we receive the uh, feedback, but that feedback was a success. So what do we do? This dot status is 200. You could do here also 404 and you tell your users file not found. Check your name of 300 or 403 and you need credentials or you are not allowed. So we're going to use here what? 200. If it's the case, we're gonna update. Update what? The text area. So text area dot value receives this response here, guys. So either response, or if you are sure that it's a text, you're gonna use text. Or you can use response, whichever you like. And that's it. Very easy. It's always the same code, guys. So here we are using a different one. So let's um, save this one and go to number two. Now oh, what did I do? Uh, I should be going to the root here and use. We are doing doing demo two. Now I'm gonna launch this file test one HTML. And there is an error because I press and nothing happened. Yeah, you see, I was right. There is an error. That's that's strange. I was right. I made an error. So let's go and uh, the true here. XML. Oh, XML. Oh, my typing is very very better. XML. 
Where is it here? And refresh. Why this is right? Okay, change content and uh, find name here. You see, find name is five two, but it was one here, so it's switch. Maybe I should have yeah, maybe this some uh, continue. Something's wrong here, so I'm gonna put my stuff here. One here. Don't do this. Change. Two. Two hundred. Three. Two hundred. Good. Four. So we got it. The the feedback and it's two hundred. So we should should go here. So what about this this Response text is good. Line three, line four. So what? Val, I'm missing. Oh gosh, I told you this earlier that I am having problems with typing. Maybe it's I'm tired. So save. And by the way, what was I thinking here? So if phi is one, you're gonna go with phi one, and you switch this one to two. Else, you're gonna go with two, and you switch this one. This back to one for the next round. So this is just flipping, guys, or toggle. All right. So did I save? No, it's a blue. Control S. Refresh. And do it again here. So change or click to initiate the Ajax. Ajax, sorry. Now on ready state. So you this is undefined because it's this. Now I go inside. It's two. Status 200. It's uh, received by the server. Now it's processed or progressing. Or there's a progress. Now it's finished. And I go here inside and I update here. You see it? Uh, I have to finish. Right. And it's in here. Now see here, guys, when I click. See? One. So it's maybe it's bringing data, but with the wrong one. Mm, let's see again. I'm gonna put toggle point here. So what's the file? It's one. I'm gonna put toggle point here to be in four directly. So it's four. Response text is line one, line two. Good. Now it's always one. Why is that? That's a really interesting uh, situation here. I like when I made some logical errors or whatever. So because this is inside here. It should be really a global one because every time I'm calling, I'm re resetting it to one. So it should be in this main here. All right, that's a good kind of error, a learning error. All right, so I'm gonna close this and you see it's working. One, two, you see, one, two, three, four. Can you see, guys? Only this part is being updated. The rest is uh, the same, and I'm not refreshing. That's the Ajax, okay, a good example of Ajax, all right? So uh, next round, we're going to use another one with a post, all right, and submitting some data here and using a PHP file. We have used just so far, we have used XML, now test, uh, text, now next round or part number three is going to be uh, PHP, the last part. Thank you.